Hi, I'm Jill Thickpen with Furniture Distributors, and you're watching the East Daily Download. I like it. That's great. Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome to the East Daily Download. This is the East Daily Download. I'm Anissa Sakila with the East Daily Download. This is the East Daily Download. Welcome to the East Daily Download. This is the East Daily Download. That's right. This is Let's get started. In our motif. That's interesting. Huh. Oh, hello and welcome to the East Daily Download. My name is Mark. I'll be your tour guide on this adventure across the East. Today we are on location again at Furniture Distributors in Greenville. Uh, there's multiple locations, but it's down the road from the station. So we wanted to come here with the specific purpose of trying to find furniture for our new Studio E set for the East Daily Download. So we've been looking all week at different, you know, furniture, whether it's tables. We opted the bedroom set probably didn't make any sense for our studio. Um, we still have more stuff to get to. Um, we liked a lot of the kitchen tables though. There's a lot of good kitchen tables here. But right now what I'm doing is I'm looking through all these samples of different fabric that you can choose uh, to customize, you know, chairs. Like this, this is really comfortable by the way and it rotates and it rocks. It's a rocking, rotating, yeah, this is awesome. I want, <laughs> I'd like to have this chair for the set. Um, but Lauren is out ultimately making the final decision. And speaking of Lauren, I don't know where she is. She said she was going that way to look at something and that was a while ago. So she is somewhere in the store. It is quite large. There's a lot of stuff here. So it's really easy to lose somebody in the store at least you know have them wander to the other side to look for something so uh, I'm gonna keep looking around here uh, some of these chairs some of the fabric the possibilities for the uh, you know the chair for the studio and uh, why don't we check the story out and I'll see you back here in a little bit on these daily download there's a lot of fabric to choose from the Pitt Greenville Airport is partnering with WNCT to help travelers feel more at home even if it's their first time in the area. This is it, this, this is their first exposure to Greenville, North Carolina. And so you, you, have, uh, you, know, you have those signs out there with, that, uh, that show the, the uh, television stations, maybe local lodging. Bill Hopper, the executive director at Pitt Greenville Airport, focuses on its past, present, and future operations. We're always like looking to the future. How can we improve construction activities? Uh, you know, we had the, the tropical storm last week. I mean, you know, we got to prepare for that. So there's just a, a thousand things. It's kind of like, you know, managing a little city with airplanes out there. We got involved at WNCT to be certain that travelers feel welcome when they're in the airport. Um, I'm Ashley Turner. I am the graphic artist and motion graphic artist at WNCT. Ashley created the design with a few key things in mind. I wanted to make it feel like you're coming home and that you wanted to feel safe and that you were felt welcomed. And in fact, the image behind it is actually off of the interstate coming into Greenville. Uh, it's been a fantastic relationship. Uh, you know, we were, you know, we're able to show our, our ramp, you know, in the morning. So if the weather's bad, you know, people, you know, hopefully they can get a view of, of what's going on in the airport and hopefully they'll see their airplane on the ramp ready to go. For more information, go to WNCT.com and click on the download tab. I'm Anissa Sakile with the East Daily Download. Now downloading 9 on Your Side News. It's called the Career and College Promise Program, a no-cost program for high school seniors to get some of those college credits out of the way early. Now as schools are reopening for a new year, college officials want to remind students those free credits are still available online. School officials say the partnership they have with Duplin County Schools gives students in the community a chance to excel. Michaela Jones took advantage of James Sprunt Community College's free credit classes when she was in high school and now is entering their nursing program. So they take James Sprunt classes just like a traditional college student would and, uh, and they receive those credits and those credits can go towards a degree or certificate or diploma at James Sprunt 
or they could also uh, possibly be, if they're transferable credits, and be transferred to a university. Michaela Jones says without the opportunity, it would have taken years and a lot of money to get where she is now. Many of the program's classes will be taught online due to the coronavirus. However, flex classes will be available when needed. I have more of Michaela's story available. Just head to WNCT.com. In Keenansville, I'm Kayla Schmidt, 9 on your side. Hey, we're back here on the East Daily Download. Hope your day's off to a great start so far. We are at Furniture Distributors in Greenville looking for furniture for the East Daily Download set inside of our home, Studio E. Um, we're looking at couches, we're looking at coffee tables, chairs, well, really everything to see what's the right fit. And uh, one of the things that I thought would be a good accessory would be some lamps to help give a little extra light and warm the setup a little bit. Because we have a whole new set, a whole new look coming your way that you're going to see very soon. Although I don't know if this lamp is the right option. I don't think it actually color scheme wise works. Now, this is interesting. It's all clear and glassy. Huh. And I don't think Lauren will let me get it. Um, but it's an option. Uh, we're also going to be looking at some pillows, you know, for accessories around the set. There's just so much stuff here, and that's the great part about this place, is that you can come in, and I don't know where Lauren is right now, because she wandered off to go look at a table on the other side of the store, so... Um, Lauren, 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 hello, hello, hello. Yeah, nothing. Okay, uh, why don't you uh, check this story out if you would, and we'll be back here in a little bit where we continue the search for set furniture, and you know what? Even if we can't find furniture for our set, which I don't think is gonna be a problem, you can always find furniture for your house, your apartment, your condo, wherever you live, because there is plenty of selection here. So uh, we'll see you in a little bit here on these Daily Download. Now downloading Conversations with... Before COVID, people thought six to eight weeks, oh my gosh, Mark, I do not wanna wait six to eight weeks. I need it, I need yeah. it quicker than that. Now, six to eight weeks sounds great <laughs> because something like this can set can take 12, 12 weeks plus. Yeah. In fact, this particular manufacturer stopped production altogether till December. Wow. So this is something because they just can't, they're still trying to keep up with the, the jump in April and May and June. So if I bought this today, this exact set right here, mm -hmm. how long theoretically would it take to get to my house? They, they're not fulfilling any orders Okay, so December first. So what you you can sell this on the floor, but you tell people you can buy it, but I can't get it to you until at least December. Yeah, this one once wow. it's gone. I mean, thankfully I have stock. Okay, that's what I'm saying. It, I got I lucky. Mean, but, you, but you do have stock in your sh in your warehouse of this particular one. Yeah, but it's getting Thinner. slimmer and slimmer yeah. and slimmer. And once it's gone, we will sell it off the floor because yeah. I, I I don't. It's really hard for me to tell somebody to wait till December first. We we've all kind of gotten into this. Um, we like things a little quicker than that. <laughs> and that's just, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, and, and some people, you know, they are really understanding of the situation yeah. and they say, yeah, I can wait. But the reality is once you get a month or so in, you're like, okay, I'm really, I can't wait. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I think people, there's that excitement that you get when you're planning a remodel of a room and, oh, the couch is coming on Tuesday. Yay, we, the whole room will have a new look and feel to it. And if it's, Tuesday ends up being four months from now, it's like, oh. It, I got it that is the letdown, and we are so conditioned to yeah. be, to get it quicker than that. I mean, gosh, Amazon Prime, we're, <laughs> we wanted it in two yeah. days. How can we How can yeah. we wait a couple months? So um, that's been, never did we see that a manufacturer would say, we're not going to produce for four months. But it's all for safety reasons, obviously. Absolutely. Yeah. Now downloading Nine on Your Side News. A majority of people I've spoken with say they support having a trail in town. However, those who oppose it say the potential tax money for this project should be used for something else. There's a lot of people I think are uh, uh, approve of having the trail. It's a matter of how we're paying for it. Funding the $1.2 million Cape Carteret Trail. 
It's in voters' hands. They'll decide whether to raise property taxes an extra three cents for every $100 of a property's value. It could be less, could be a little more, but uh, right now the money is, as far as the interest on the loan, would be very low. People like Brian Flanagan and Cam Armsby are voicing their support on Facebook. Both agree the trail could improve the town. Other people here argue the money would be better used to fix problems like drainage systems. You know, like I say, do we want to do it now and pay for it for tax dollars or do we want to do it with donations and grants and as the money as we get it? Currently, the trail starts along Highway 24, but dead ends after a quarter mile. Grants and donations paid for this portion of what's intended to be a three-mile loop extending around Taylor Notion Road and Highways 24 and 58. Sort of in the middle where people can cross just one street and then have a closed loop and be able to, to walk and bike and ride and be able to get to the stores as well. Mayor Will Baker says the town will still seek grants for the project, no matter how the vote comes out. Officials say the trail won't be complete for another four years if voters reject the bond request. In Cape Carteret, Camila Barco, Nine on your side. Hey, we're back here on the East Daily Download. We are at Furniture Distributors in Greenville on location with the show. We are in the process this week of looking for new furniture for the set for Studio E. Um, however, we need some accessories like pillows. Now, this is an interesting one. It has a fish on it. I don't know if that fits our motif that we have going but it would certainly make a statement and you would certainly notice it. So I'm all in favor of that. Got these pillows. Let's see. Plenty of pillows. There's pillows throughout the store. Um, so if you're looking for pillows, this is a great spot to come as well. In addition to your couches and your tables and your bedroom set. So plenty of options here at Furniture Distributors. Um, I'm going to keep looking. If you'd be so kind as to check this next story out, I'll meet you back here in a little bit and we'll wrap the show up and see what we can find for the set, okay? What was the costume that you're proudest of? I know my enemy prey on it. The Valentino, and she's in the, in the leopard, and mm -hmm. this leopard car. So when we walk up in a club. I thought that was really powerful. One of my other favorites, the teal look, you know, the power shoulder still true to that Beyonce, you know, accentuated ways with the corset. How many suitcases do you travel with? You have to be prepared. If she says, I just want to shoot, I think it would just be really nice in a t-shirt, you know? I'm like, okay, 10 ball gowns, please. You know, just, just in case. <laughs> Beyonce had 63 costume changes in the groundbreaking 85 minute film. This was based off her look in Drunken Love. The same dress in nude, but I wanted like organzas and silks. It wasn't necessarily designed to go in the water. <laughs> but <laughs> it's immersed in anyway. Zarina Akers was in charge of Beyonce's wardrobe, and director Quasi Forjor led the entire year-long production that filmed everywhere from South Africa to Belgium, London, even Beyonce's home in LA. She was like, I want to shoot, and let's do it. Like, let's start at my house. And I was like, Hell yeah, let's do it. The tree shot in already. That was her backyard. And while shooting this backyard tea, Beyonce posed with her mom and daughters, creating this special moment. Miss Tina actually was a last minute addition to that shot. She came to set that day and Beyonce was like, Mama, you have to be in it. You know, you have to be in this. <laughs> we'll have much more on the next Entertainment Tonight. I'm Kevin Frazier, back to you. There are so many animals to meet and to listen to during a trip to Zootastic Park. <laughs> I, got a, I got a smile. Owner Scotty Brown and his team care for 800 animals who live on the 127-acre property. I love kids and I love animals, so the two of those go together. And uh, to make a little kid smile, that's my, my joy. We have uh, uh, zebras, giraffes, buffalo. We have Sitatanga, uh, Nyella. We have uh, Kudu. The Elder family made the day trip from Greenville, South Carolina. This is the most hands-on um, that we have been able to be with animals at a zoo. Um, we live about two hours away, so it was definitely worth the trip, I feel like. 
The pandemic pushed Brown to think outside the fence. Now you can see some of the animals without ever leaving the comfort of your car. Opened up about uh, eight, nine weeks ago with the drive through and I've uh, never done it before. Didn't, wasn't plan on ever doing it, but you know, with the pandemic, we said, you know what, if people can stay in their car and enjoy our animals. We decided to travel out and it wasn't that far and it's definitely been worth it for us. We did the drive through at first and I love how personal everything was. The zebras love to snack on the feed as you drive through the zoo. We made it work and you know, we used our hand sanitizer. We were trying to, to make everybody feel comfortable. The young and young at heart all have their favorite animals. Giraffes and lions. Um, probably the squirrel monkeys. The hands-on highlight for me, <laughs> feeding Jigsaw the giraffe. How is that Jigsaw? You can do it too with a cup of carrots. Brown hopes you leave the zoo learning something new. If you can't say wow, you know, it's, it's, we're not doing our, the job. And one thing that tickles me more than anything is every time somebody comes here and they say, we haven't been here six months, we can't believe how much you changed. We try to change our zoo every six months. It's a lot of work, but it's. Uh... And it's truly a labor of love. In Troutman, North Carolina, Ann Wyatt Little. I'm Alicia Kellum, the executive manager here at Don Williamson Nissan. With recent health concerns, we wanted to share some ways to keep your vehicle clean. Disinfect all high touch areas where there's most contact with bare skin, like the steering wheel, handles, lock buttons, seat belts and buckles, mirrors, radio dials and climate control buttons. Sanitize your hands about every hour just to be safe and listen to all the latest alerts from health officials. From all of us here at Don Williamson Nissan, stay safe. We're thinking of you. Eastern North Carolina. I'm Alexa Kay with the Down East Wood Ducks, the baseball team in Kinston, North Carolina. And just because we don't have baseball right now doesn't mean we can't give you guys a tour of the stadium. Let's go check it out. Well, we are at the first stop on our stadium tour, which is obviously the bullpen. This is where all of our pitchers are going to be warming up. And if they're a reliever, they're going to be hanging out over here while the game's going on, getting ready to be called in. Let's see what's next. Okay, the next stop on our tour is the Wood Ducks dugout, which is a crucial part of any baseball complex. Most fans would not get to see it, so we're just giving you guys a sneak peek. Here it is. And the next stop on our tour are the batting cages, which are pretty self-explanatory, but not everybody gets to see them, so we wanted to make sure that you got to. Next stop, let's go. Okay, the last stop on our tour is the Woody's Press Box. This is where our visiting and home broadcasters sit and our PA guy and a lot more important people up here. I spend a lot of time up here before games, 
getting ready for the show that we put on for you guys. And we definitely wanted you all to have a sneak peek and a behind the scenes of the press box. So here you go. We can't wait for baseball to start back. We miss you, we miss baseball, and go Wood Ducks. This corner, ah, this is perfect. Let's stay home. This pillow should definitely go on the set because it encourages you to stay home, watch these daily download. It encourages everybody to be safe right now. So that's a good thing. There's great pillows here. I really like this coffee table. It has a glass top and there's um, like cubbies inside of it with decorations. That's kind of cool. Also, I kind of like these. You put them on one of the end tables for the set with candles, even though we probably wouldn't burn a candle in the studio. Although it's not like it's never been done before, but probably shouldn't be. That's kind of neat too. A little plant box. Uh, ooh! How about the clock on the wall? I don't know where we'd put that with the new layout of the set though. Okay, the bottom line is furniture distributors here in Greenville, actually any of the locations they have, have a lot of great stuff that you can get for your home your apartment, your condo, your house, wherever it is that you live, they've got you covered either online or in the store. So come check it out or, you know, contact them online. Uh, and we are going, mm, uh, that's, mm. there's some, okay, I need to stop. I got to go find Lauren. She wandered off because the store is so big and she said something about a new bedroom set or something for her and her husband. I don't know. She's over on that side of the store. I'll go find her. We'll meet back here tomorrow whole new episode of the East Daily Download, and we'll nail it down what we're going to get for the set. So have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget WNCT.com under the download tab real quick, and the WNCT mobile app available free at Google Play and the App Store has this show whenever you want to watch it, wherever you want to watch it, and Facebook and Instagram, East Daily Download hashtag. Okay, that's it for me. We'll see you on the next episode. Have a great day, everybody. Tomorrow on an all-new edition of the East Daily Download, we've got a new Feel Good Friday for you. And we'll have live at Whirligig Stage. That's tomorrow for the East Daily Download on Eastern North Carolina CW.